Hello everybody, welcome back to another unboxing video. Here we have a ton of auger shells and 10 volute shells that I randomly purchased off of Facebook uh, I'm in a bunch of shell groups and I purchased a bunch from there off of one of these sellers. So I haven't had a look at it. This is the box here. It is completely full of completely random augers and then 20 volute shells that I've kind of seen, but I haven't seen any of the augers and I don't actually have any auger shells that I've purchased. So it's pretty exciting. I had this sitting all day. I was waiting for Imogen to finish work so I could film it with her, but it looks like we have the volutes on top. Let's get straight into it. Okay, let's open the first couple here. I have no idea how big these are. Um, oh my goodness. They're actually smaller than I thought, but that's okay. I barely have any volutes, so this is kind of cool to see. So we got two there. Very cool. All up, I paid $50 for all of these. That's actually cool. So that's an auger there with its operculum. That's really interesting. I got a feeling there's going to be a lot of augers in here. Holy moly. So there's three there. I didn't know that was going to be an auger. I thought it was, oh my goodness. I thought it was going to be the volutes on top and then the augers, but I guess there are a ton in this box. So completely random. Again, I haven't seen any of these. Uh, I've only seen the box on Facebook. Wow, look at these ones. We're going to have quite the selection of augers after this video. I have a feeling that this is going to be very good. There's still some more wrapped up. All right, there's one more wrapped up in here. That's very cool. Check that one out. Super good condition. Awesome. Stoked on those already. And that's only the first little bubble uh, newspaper load. Feels like this one's just two volts, but they're very, I like that one. That one's interesting. I like the sort of abrasions on it. Very cool, nothing else in that. Squish it up, make sure there's nothing else. Let's check out what's in this one. This one feels a bit heavier. Wow. I really like the knobs on these volutes. I don't have too many volutes. Um, as you can see, these are all the volutes that I have up here. All the large ones. What a messy boot. Huh? <laughs> but let's keep going. That's nice. I like that one. That's a good little... I like that one. Good little addition to this group here. Okay, let's open this one up. No idea what's in this. Okay, so there's two more in this. This is a Mayonnaise Volute, I guess. Not sure why you'd write on the shell, but okay. Cool, I guess. I only paid $50 for all of these. So I'm not expecting anything crazy, obviously, just to pimp out my auger and Volute selection. These ones are cool. I like these ones. Let's check out these. Let's take a closer look at them. Wow. Those are sweet. Huh. Very cool. I really like the one with the operculum there. That one's definitely uh, interesting. Wow. Check out the color in these ones, guys. So this, this actually has all its information. I'm not even going to try and say that word, but they were found in Roe Bush Va Bay, WA. Okay, check out the color of that. So we'll definitely keep these ones with the, uh... wow, check out the color of that. Holy cow, that's cool. That's like a bluish purple for those two there. And it has its information sheet. That's really helpful. We have a ton in here. Let me get into this. So we'll keep the information sheet with that. That's really cool. They're probably my favorite so far. We've got two more on top here. Okay, this one feels like some volutes. Yes, more volutes. I'm not sure if all these are the same. I don't know too much about volutes. I really don't find many at all. Just the, oh, that one's nice as well. That's really good condition. Check that out. Awesome. Yeah, I only find the magnificent voids, and that's if I'm lucky. So here we have a bunch more. Ooh, it's another one just like the big one there, but this one does not have its operculum. Check out the size of that though, that's beauty. That's awesome, we'll leave him there. Then we have another, it looks like it's a bit more brown. 
then these two here. So we'll put that to the side. Uh, we have some more in here. Let's see what else. Ooh. Okay, so this one also has its operculum. That's cool. So I believe, yeah, that is for sure the same as that one there. That's very cool. So those two are the same, both with operculums. Crazy how I only got these for what? Uh, I paid $50 for all of them, $30 for the augers, and then $20 for the um, volutes. And I only paid $8 shipping, so that's $55 for all. So that's really cool. This one was found in, what, Karatha, WA. And it's called a Duplicaria. That's what I'll call it. Looks pretty cool though. Nice label. I need to print some of my own labels like that. That's nice. Looks like the ones I find. Focus. There we go. So this one here behind us is from my collection. This is what I've found. I've found a couple of these ones and it looks quite close. Very cool. Let's put him back. Very cool, man. We'll keep that one with his little name tag. All right, let's get into the second one. Right here. Cool. Looks like we get some free containers. Okay, what do we got? Oh my goodness. Oh. Holy crap. Are you serious? Oh my god. Dude. They all have information. I haven't looked in this box at all. Check the size of this guy out with the operculum. This is going to take forever. <laughs> This is actually going to take forever. Holy. Okay, this is going to take some time, but we'll try and go as quickly as possible because there's a lot in here. But it's definitely exciting because I've never even seen this many augers. This one was from uh, Broom in WA. Very tiny little fellas there. Okay, this is going to take some time. We might have to make this into a part two, to be honest. Look at that one. That's different. That one doesn't have a label. Some of these are mixed up, like... They're just sort of thrown in, so I'm not really sure what goes to what, but that's okay. Let's do some of the bigger ones. Holy moly. I wonder if these all are, well, some of them look different, of course, but, um, yeah, there is a ton in here. Holy cow. You know what? We might just go ahead and not open them. We might just leave them in their bags like that. They kind of do look better like that, plus they won't get knocked around by the wind or anything. So that's what we have there. If you guys want to check it out, pause the video. We have another one here. Uh, where, with the ones without uh, labels we will take out of the bags, like this one here. That one's very interesting. Very cool. I like that one actually. That might be my favorite one so far. I do really like these uh, checkered ones here as well. Not sure what they're called either. Uh, they're interesting. I like that. Okay, these ones aren't too rare. I actually do buy these sometimes. I really don't like them, to be honest. They kind of look like a fake shell to me. But that's okay. They're definitely different. Really strange looking. Leave those two there. Which one looks interesting? Let's take this one out. What the heck is that? Oh, it's got... Wait, what? It's got like a pen thing on it. So this is a, see that's a really nice uh, label tag there. It's from North Queensland. Very cool. I guess that is there to keep the tip of the shell sort of intact. Oh my goodness. Let's make some room here. Okay, I'm going to put this down here. We have a cut, we have a bunch. Look at that. That's cool, huh? Wow. We have a bunch in their own little display case there. That is very cool. Wow, look at the patterns on that one, guys. Check that out. Focus, there we go. That one's really cool. A ton of really small ones. Hey, I've never seen this before. So these ones are from Broom as well. Check those out. Tiny fellas. Very interesting. Check out how many. There must be 200 in here. I didn't expect half of this. We have a... Affinis from Trunk Reef in Queensland. No idea where that is, but that's it there. Very cool. The top ones were definitely the most interesting ones so far, especially these two here. I love the color on those. Pause it.
Okay, so we've unboxed probably 60%. We still have this many left in here. Um, it would have taken a very long time to unbox each of those uh, separately. So we're just gonna go over the best ones that we've gotten so far. One of my favorites is definitely this tiny little white one here. Is it focused? So if you can see inside, it actually does have its operculum, which is really cool for something this size. Now, if you guys might know, uh, when they have their operculum still, that means they were either taken live or found dead. Um, I purchased these completely randomly. I didn't know what was inside them. If I did know that they had the operculums, I probably wouldn't have bought them because I don't want to buy shelves that have been taken live. So I just wanted to make that clear for some of you guys. Uh, I didn't buy these specifically because they were alive or anything. So I'm trying not to do the wrong thing here. But I thought I'd just let you guys know. And we're going to unbox these last couple with you guys now. But the best ones are definitely that white one that I showed first up. And my personal favorite. Let's, let's go with my top three. My first one would definitely be this white one here that I showed you. My second one would definitely be this purple one here. I absolutely love the colors on that. That is very cool. It's perfect condition as well. Really, really cool. Let's see where he's from. Um, oh yeah, Bush or Buck Bay. I'm not sure what that says, but they are very cool. Then my next favorite would probably be um, Probably this brown one or this giant one here, but this one probably doesn't take it because it was either taken live or dead. But again, not my fault. So it would definitely be these three here. Let's grab them up. They're definitely my favorite so far. Very cool, I really like those. Let's put them back. Don't know how I'm gonna display them, whether I'm gonna take them out of the packages or not, but let's open up some more. Well, let's go through some more. So we have a bunch of little ones here. We actually do have quite a lot of smaller augers, just like those ones, all from different places. We even had some from Florida. Which one was that? That one, yeah, that was from Florida. So that's really interesting. So these ones are from all over the world. It's really cool. But here we have, uh, these ones are called the Hustula, I think, and these are from Cairns. Very cool. I really like those as well. Very interesting. Okay, looks like we've got about 15 more in the box here. Let's find an interesting one. Okay, where whenever they don't have the labels on them, I'm just going to take them out. Because this one actually has sand still. So, how old do you think this sand is? That's kind of cool. I like the color of that. I'm not sure if a lot of these are the same or not. By looking at some of them, like this one here and these ones here, they look the same to me. They might not be. Um, but yeah, comment down below if I'm wrong. Which one did this one go to there? Okay. That was that bag. These ones look interesting. These are actually the same. See, these are from Brazil. These are completely from all over the world. They're really cool. Brazil. That's crazy. These ones are from... Uh, Michael Mass Bay, I guess that's what it says. But these ones are really cool as well. Nice white ones. Nothing wrong with them. Gem, as I would call it. Now let's go through a bit more of these that don't have labels. Check those ones out. Those ones are super long. I like those ones. Let's place them just wherever. I was expecting maybe 25 augers from what I paid, not over a hundred. This is crazy. Um, no idea what these are, don't have the label, but that's what they look like. If you guys know the scientific name, comment down below. You guys have been pretty good at guessing lately. My goodness. See, some of these don't have their label inside of them. So it's kind of confusing me. Like there's five, five six here. Without, oh my goodness, you just gave me more. <laughs> so these, no idea. Okay, there's apparently some from New Ireland and the Philippines. No idea which ones they are, but let's take out some more. Ooh. Here we have another purple looking one. 
it looks the exact same, just missing that bright color. So maybe we'll put that one with them. Let's do it. Awesome. So I'm actually waiting on three more packages. One giant king helmet that I was gifted. One mystery box from the Netherlands and one from Texas, which is full of super, super rare and expensive specimen shells, which is going to be really exciting. Check out the coloration on that one though. I like the middle one there. That's very cool. We're running out of space. Mm -hmm. All right, can you pause it? All right, let's check out where this one's from. No idea, can't read that. Well, that's it there. Found, on, found in 2002. That's what it says on the back of it. Found on sand in 2002. That's cool. Okay, I'm running out of room. Let's just place them anywhere. These ones are nice. So these are from WA in, again, 2002. December, check out that color. Just like the purple ones again. But these are brown. I really like those. They're interesting. Okay, let's just grab a bunch of them right here. Oh my goodness. Okay, check out those ones. Very cool. Comment down below which one's your favorite one so far. Just add the time limit or the timer that you saw it on. If you don't know the name of it, I'm running out of room. Put those in there. Where's this one from? Damper, Damper West, Australia, WA. Cool. God, look at the size of these ones. Sand at three meters. How do you even find something like, like that underwater? So this is from Exmouth, one of the most iconic beaches in Australia, actually. One of the dream beaches for any shell in Australia. West Australia, Broome again. Look at the, the spots on that. That's really cool. Doesn't have the date. Dang, I like looking at the dates. Seeing how old these are, roughly. So we got 10, is that 10? No, I don't know. Wow, this one looks old. 1986. Holy cow, dude. Check out how old the paper is. 1986. Oh my goodness. That's nearly twice my age. I'm running out of room quickly. That's probably the oldest one so far. Just put those there. <coughs> Florida again. From Florida, so it says Florida, USA. <laughs> I thought it said something else, but it was just the name of the shelf. Just another common auger. I guess that might go with one of the labels. Not sure what that's called. If you guys know, comment down below. Point Perrin in Western Australia, I think. They sold this. Or in 2018, they had this one for sale for $10. I paid $30 for all of the augers. So they have depreciated very quickly. <laughs> Philippines, here we go. This one looks old, 50 cents apparently. That one. Oh, we got stuff from all over the world. This one's from Michael Mas K. Cayenne, Cayman Islands, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. That's cool though. Right, we got about seven left. This one's from New Ireland, no idea where it's for. Where's Dingo? Let's wait. Oh, Dingo Beach, it's half of a uh, thing split in half. Not bad, very cool. We've got, a, we've got quite the variety here. No idea where that's from. Doesn't have the label attached to it. No idea where that's from. Northwest Cape, Western Australia. 60 feet. These two were found at 60 feet below. Very uncommon, apparently. That's what it says on the back. Very uncommon. Very cool. Let's add him in the middle. Okay, we got some more here. This is the only one. North of Cairns, this is the only one with the uh, note on the side there. Then the rest we just have is some random uh, labels here. I'm guessing they would each go with these ones. 
Queensland, Philippines, bowl hole. This is a, it's like half chopped off. This is a Hastel, Hastula, I think that's how you say it. And this one is a Rerebra. Oh no, Terebra. <laughs> Pertassa from New Ireland, no idea. Actually, where are these ones? Hmm. Yeah, I guess they would just come from anywhere, Queensland. Maybe that one, no idea. Alrighty guys, that is everything here. Crazy amount of stuff. I am going to have fun displaying these on the auger shelf now. No idea how I'm going to display them. I'll probably just leave them in their packages. They look much better like that. And they'll uh, definitely, you know, keep their color and not get dust on them and that sort of thing. And they'll be much easier to take with me when we move. So let's put them all on the table here. Which one was your favorite, cameraman? Mmm, I like this one. You like the purple ones too? Mmm. What about the volutes? Which one's mm. your favorite? This one. Mm. I kind of like this one. Alright, that was very interesting. I was not expecting that at all. I'm like $55 on Facebook. Crazy. Alrighty guys, comment down below what your favorite shell was of today's unboxing. That was very interesting, very, very cool. I'm definitely going to buy a ton more from Facebook now. That was crazy cheap. A crazy good deal alrighty thank you guys so much for so after about 20 minutes of setting them all up they're finally here in all their glory it looks wonderful check it out I think it looks awesome especially these ones lined up here very cool so this is now my auger shelf and I actually have one or two two to add to it I've had this one for a very long time, big boy, and I found this about three years ago. Only one I've ever found. So, let's put him up on there. We could have done that more. Let's move these over there. Put the big boy right next to all of them. Look at that. I'll help you there. What do you guys think? I think that was an awesome unboxing. We did very well here. That was an excellent buy, and thank you so much for watching. And this is now my Volute shelf here. Very cool. So we got the Volute today. Awesome.